If you're building an application inside Visual Studio and you want to share that application with someone real quick and you don't have the application inside source control we can just give them a, a link into your repository, sharing can be a bit difficult. There's not a simple straightforward way of doing things. For example, if you were to zip up the entire application and try to email it to somebody, the email servers would most likely reject it. And the reason why is because you have DLLs and EXEs inside of your zip file. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to clean those out and allow you to easily share your application with somebody else via email. Now here I have a sample project. This sample project has a few different projects inside of it, a console application, a class library, and a ASP.NET MVC application. And these are just demos. So if you right click on the solution, there's this open folder in File Explorer. This will take us right to where we need to be. It will open up in this folder right here. So here I've already opened up this folder in the example app, which is our solution name, and here's our solution. This is important that you include this .sln file and all the folders inside here, except the packages folder. Okay, so when you want to share your application with someone, the first thing you need to make sure you do is include everything. For example, if you just include the SLN file, you won't give them anything they can work with. Okay, you include the SLN file in all the folders that go along with that, except for the packages folder. And the reason I said except for the packages folder is because inside of here, you have all the packages that are included inside of your project. Now, if you don't have a packages folder, don't worry. That just means you're not using NuGet. But inside of these folders, every one of them will have some sort of DLL. And that'd be a problem for emailing. The nice thing is Visual Studio will rebuild this packages folder for you in the newer versions. In 2012 and before, I believe you have to turn on NuGet package restore. All right, so in order to send this to someone, I would select all my folders and files in the same directory as the .sln file. I exclude the packages folder, and then I right click and say, send to compressed zip folder. That's gonna zip it all up. I'll leave it as example app. Now I'm not done yet. And the reason I'm not done yet is because we have to open this up, and then inside of each of our folders, you have to open them up and delete both the bin and the OBJ folders. I right click and say delete. I go back up one level. I go to the next one. I select both the bin and the OBJ folder and I say delete. I go up one level, go to my ASP.NET MVC app and there is a bin and OBJ folder. Go ahead and delete both of those. These are temporary files and compiled files that get rebuilt every time Visual Studio compiles. Therefore, they're not necessary for sending to your, your friend or your coworker or whoever you're emailing these things to because once they hit the build menu and say build this project, it will recreate that folder and all the files inside. We come back out and now this zip file is ready to email to anyone you want. Okay, so that's one way to zip up all of our projects and solutions into one zip file that we can email safely. Now there is another method we can use and that's if we go to this website visualstudiogallery.msdn.microsoft.com um, You can either copy this long complicated string or you can search for clean project. This is a, an add-in that is no longer being updated, but it still works fairly well. And what this does is it will download an MSI file. You run that MSI file and install it. I've gone ahead and installed it on my machine. And so if I come to this folder, the example app folder, 
and I go up one level. So this is the folder that contains both my solution and all of my project files. If I right click on that, I now have this option called clean, remove source bindings and zip solution. This does a similar action to what we just did only in one step. And there you go. What I was telling you is it cleaned up your application and it created a zip file. If we see the example app.zip, if we open this up, you'll notice we have, oops, we have that zip file from before. We can go ahead and delete that. We don't need that in our zip file. We have our console UI. Let's just open that up real quick. Notice no bin or OBJ folders. Same thing for example library. And finally for the web front end, no bin or OBJ folders. That's great. The only thing it missed was the fact that it included the packages folder. So we need to go ahead and delete that. Once that gets deleted, this zip file too is ready to deploy. Just to show that it, this does work, let's go ahead and extract this. Okay, set, we'll hit extract all, and we'll say, let's extract it to example app two. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio. And we're gonna say file, open project solution, and say example app two, example app.sln. All right, looks very similar to what we had before, but if we come back over to our folder, notice there is no packages folder. But let's go ahead and watch what happens. Go ahead and move it around. Let's watch what happens to this folder when we hit the build button, build solution. Notice the NuGet package manager is pulling down the packages and there they are now. The build succeeded. If we come back over to console UI, we now have a bin folder and an OBJ folder. And the same is true for the example library and for the web front end. So those are two different methods to zip up your solution so you can send it to a colleague or friend. The key things to remember are that you have to start in the solutions folder. If you want to do it yourself, make sure you get your solution and all of the folders underneath it, except for the packages folder. And then you clean out the bin and OBJ folders. If you're going to do it using the clean product tool, you have to go up one more level and right click on the folder that contains your solution. Once you do that, you need to delete that packages folder inside the zip file. Either way, your zip file is now ready to send.